video I'm going to talk about how much I hate bullets and I think this stems from years of working in PowerPoint and other e-learning software but to me there's nothing less remarkable about uh, training that I design if it includes bulleted text like you see here. Um, you know in this particular case uh, this particular piece of content I um, I have some narration in the background and you know you, you, it's a lot you can do with bullets I'm not saying you can't this is currently a single text box but I could actually break this out into you know individual text boxes for each of the bulleted items so that they appear in time with the narration I could have some special effects ease them in or slide in or zoom in or or whatever it is but really when it comes right down to it it just reminds me of every single boring PowerPoint that I've had to sit through where the facilitator at the front of a classroom uh, simply reads off the bullet points to you and there is nothing uh, more disengaging than a bulleted text to me so how I deal with this is a couple of years ago I came up with the idea that you know the text on screen doesn't have to just be bullets it can be any object you wish and to try and give it a fresh new look what I started to do is I started to put all of my key points in their own individual objects uh, specifically I've used squares and rectangles and I happen to uh, be working uh, for the last number of years I've been working for a company that has a, a brand image that that contains a whole series like a rainbow of colors uh, so what I do is I, I go with this approach instead uh, this is the first bit of this you know it should be easy making others feel well I just making others feel and I put these into their own individual tiles which uh, which go on screen it's real flat real simple um, I even will will uh, resize and crop my my images to match the same tile size I'll show you how I do that in another video but for right now here's essentially what I've done now if you take a look at my timeline in fact uh, you can see there's there's one set of of uh, these boxes or squares or whatever that comes in and then it, in fact I even have a second set so it's a great way to break up your content as well um, you know if I if I play this uh, slide from the beginning um, you know I won't worry about the audio but uh, if I play as a slide from the beginning you'll you'll see how this works so let me just preview this incidentally I've added a ease in effect on this particular uh, on this set of boxes and it creates a nice way for the 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 content to simply ease into the screen so let's just do a little preview of what this looks like uh, this course is a little rough right now it's not complete but we'll just uh, do a preview of the next five slides so you can get an idea of what it is that I'm talking about here just wait for this to load up it would be easy to be respectful in the workplace if all you had to do was avoid the most obvious forms of violence, such as the fistful acts like punching, kicking, slapping, and so on. It's important to remember that the most common forms of violence are not always physical at all. One of the most common examples in today's workplace is bullying. There are estimates that 35 to 50 percent of employees in Western industrial nations experience workplace bullying. Bullying are the behaviors made by people attempting to make themselves feel superior by making others feel isolated, intimidated, degraded, or humiliated. If you're in a leadership position, you may be wondering if you can offer constructive feedback to employees, direct employees, or manage an employee's performance. Don't worry, being direct with employees is for the purpose of maintaining performance is not a form of workplace bullying. So you see how that kind of works. It, it just really brings those individual bullet items to life. And again, you know, at some point I'll probably add some graphics to to come into the blank spots a little bit before the actual text items do. Uh, just to further illustrate what the point is that I'm that I'm trying to get across. You know, and they're they're not complicated as you can see here. Sometimes it's just highlighting key words from those phrases that are in the narration itself. 
and you know I don't focus on on putting all my content on screen just the key things I want people to remember um, you know and it's just a nice simple approach and it really avoids something boring like this guys if you like the videos that I'm producing for you don't forget to give me a thumbs up right on the YouTube page there and if you if you like all of the videos and you want to see more uh, a great way to do that is to subscribe to my channel so I'll put a subscribe button right here on the screen and uh, you can just click that and subscribe to my channel and that way you'll get to see all my videos that they're uh, that are available as they come out thanks everyone